Well, good evening, friends. Mark Holmes here. And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, it ain't working without you guys. So I appreciate each and every one of you guys being here. Um, shout out to everybody who came in our live stream uh, tonight. We had a ball. Uh, lots of great fans and things. I appreciate the super chats and the donations to the GoFundMe uh, GD, GD, and Joe, uh, uh, Joe Wilson. Wilson, I think you're in Hawaii. Those are our two winners tonight from our um, drawings for uh, Super Chat and uh, donation and channel members. I appreciate that. We've been able to start really building something new and something different here on the outdoor side. I still have a lot of things that we're doing and getting together. So keep looking forward to seeing all the things that we're going to do. Um, we're going to continue to grow as we're... 40 some days from the draft. I can't wait to have another draft show because you get the draft and then all of a sudden you start getting the players together with the team. And before you know it, it's football season. But I don't want to say I'm disappointed, but kind of disappointed. <laughs> you know, as a Cowboy fan, I guess we keep hoping against hope for something different. That's not going to be there. It's free agency period and the Dallas Cowboys do what they do. I don't know why we expect a leopard to change its spots, but the Cowboys are just not that team that's going to go ahead and take risks to really try and be that free agent building team. They're just not. You know, we keep hoping and thinking and dreaming and thinking and hoping and dreaming and everything else. And it's just not going to be the way of the Dallas Cowboys. And we can hope, we can pray and all that, but it's just not going to change. And there's nothing that we can do about it. So it is what it is. The Dallas Cowboys will be the Dallas Cowboys. And that's a team that just does not look to try and improve through free agency. Yeah, they're looking at a couple of safeties, you know, a couple of guys that are bottom tiers, but they're not going to get into the whole bidding war with other teams. And to say that I'm kind of surprised about Joe Thomas, Joe Thomas was actually, a, a, you know, played some really good snaps for us. And in times where we've had Van Der Esch and um, guys hurt, has actually played a lot of valuable snaps. And the fact that he got picked up by the Texans for only $2 million, where the Cowboys were... The cupboard is is bare at linebacker. Maybe, I don't know, is if, if Joe Thomas leaving, we got Van Der Esch and we've got Jalen Smith as the two standouts, but um, we are thin, thin. And maybe this ends up meaning that, you know, Sean Lee, we know you're old, we know you got a lot of miles on you, but, you know, maybe one more go-round for you to be back here with the Cowboys, you know, in case shit happens. And maybe you can be a player's coach or something, but um, now you got to look at linebacker definitely as another one of those positions that we are going to need to get some more warm bodies for. But $2 million is all he got from the Texans? you telling me that the Cowboys didn't think he was worth $2 million? Hell, we spent more than that for Clinton HaHa Dix, didn't we? But as a Cowboy fan, you know, you, you want to get excited. And I know that most of the times that teams sign a whole bunch of guys and become the offseason champions and, and everything, and to then see them just fall on their face, see, you know, the Washington football team for years, where they were every year the offseason champion, where, you know, they said, oh, my God, they got this guy. Oh, they got Bruce Smith. Oh, they got Deion Sanders. Oh, they signed Adam Archuleta. Oh, they got Hainsworth. And to see none of these guys do anything. I, I get that. But you want to be excited about, you know, the possibilities. You want to dream that our defense is going to be better than 29th. And you can't do it all from the draft. So I guess hoping for that to be different, there's no chance of that. There's no chance of that. 
So we can just get that out of our mind. Well, whew, it has been a busy, busy, busy day. And I must say that this is one of those days that you, you live for doing what I've been doing here in my man cave. I'm very blessed to have actually been home here as news has been breaking so I could come and bring it to you guys as soon as it happens. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Hmm. But don't expect a whole lot this week. Hmm. I hear that Andy Dalton, Washington's interested in Andy Dalton. Wow. Wouldn't that be crazy? To have him signed by the team that knocked him the F out. Well, I guess it's better to have no talk about free agency. At least we're talking about football than something else. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get all of my stuff out here covered up. It's supposed to rain tonight, and I don't want the equipment to get wet. I'm going to take me a shower, get me some sleep, because tomorrow's another day. And maybe, just maybe, the Cowboys signed somebody more than a long snapper. Oh, shout out to LP. Thank you for all the great years of being a Dallas Cowboy. I'll never forget, and I need to pull, pull this picture out. I've been blessed to have done a lot of really cool things. And one of the coolest things was being in Arizona, I think in 20, maybe 2013, and being at the Pro Bowl. The Pro Bowl was actually the week before the Super Bowl in Arizona. And we did a community build on a military base. And I have the last picture of DeMarco Murray behind the Dallas Cowboys offensive line. That year... Tyron Smith, Zach Martin, Travis Frederick, LP, Jason Witten, DeMarco Murray, and Tony Romo were all pro bowlers. And the craziest thing was, as we were walking, the offensive line walked in formation. Tony Romo right there. Jason Witten on the wing. And DeMarco Murray right behind him. And here I am right there with these guys walking behind. And I snap a picture. But there's a second picture that I will always treasure. And I have it signed by Zach Martin and I believe Travis Frederick. But it is Tyron Smith, Zach Martin, Travis Frederick, and LP. And they're walking towards the sun. And two of those guys are no longer playing for the Cowboys. I don't know if LP will continue playing or if he'll retire. Seems like it was yesterday. But that's the thing about football. Here today, gone tomorrow. Shout out to you, LP. Thank you for all the great years. Well, I'll see you guys in the morning. Be safe.